Um, specifically for anyone who actually needs procedures in our office, a lot of it's done under fluoroscopy. Um, before, in the uh, early days of uh, pain management, before it was actually recognized as a subspecialty or even an entity, uh, a lot of it was done blindly. Like um, even sometimes you could go to an orthopedic surgeon's office and they'll do joint uh, injections blindly. Obviously in skilled hands it's pretty uh, dependable. But um, for us, we do all of our injections under fluoroscopy, meaning this is this is our a live x-ray machine. So, uh, the apparatus behind us is our monitor. So, um, and this is a bed that patients most of the time would actually lie prone or stomach down on so that we have access to the back. But uh, with the fluoroscope, we're able to um, specifically target exact regions and the exact nerves in whatever parts of the spine or actually within the joint um, so that I know for 100% certainty where my needle tip is and I know for a fact that I'm injecting the medications or whatever that we're actually doing, either diagnostic or therapeutic, in the appropriate area. Um, and specifically, there's an image here in the background for a patient who has one of our common problems, severe spinal stenosis, lower, chronic, chronic lower back pain. He's failed surgery approximately three times, and he's coming to us um, with pretty much being on every type of medication and having failed every type of therapy. And he has what we feel that is a common problem, something called lumbar facet arthropathy, pain across the lower back. And here it just shows a lot of degenerative changes, but the, the benefit of using fluoroscopy is that I know for 100% sure I'm in the correct space, I'm not where I don't want to be, and then once the needle tip is in the correct position that um, we deposit the medications to determine whether or not this injection will help them in the future.